20 out. Win Stand by Alpha. To box. <clears throat> Headlines will be in A. We'll have music live and Matt live. We actually can't do it. It's just legitimately. That thing can't do it. 10 out from show. See my music in A. That's a good one. Alpha. Music. <clears throat> Political lines are clearly drawn in the latest controversy Stand surrounding the Brett Kavanaugh nomination to the Supreme Court. Time. We'll have the latest. And Miss Texas kicks off her official tour I'll in Central Texas. Please. The message Madison Fuller wants children to okay, take to heart. Time. Go and, and we're speakers looking on at feeding. rain really starting to develop across our eastern counties with heavy rain here I-45. Or will be developing to the west as well as the night progresses. Your Central Texas News Now starts. Stand by for quad Going box. animation. Give me one chat on camera three. This is Central Texas News Now. Okay. We're taking you okay. now. Central okay. for rain and storms as folks across Central Texas prepare for some Friday night football. Thanks for joining us at Five. I'm Ann Harder. We've got full up. team coverage this evening, bringing Same you back. all you need to know whether with you're heading out to a game or just getting ready to nice. kick off your weekend. Let's begin with Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines with the latest the forecast. Matt. Matt. Well, right now, now it doesn't look too clear. bad on our first floor Central Texas Clock radar. Clear. But as we head after 6, 7 o'clock tonight, Sorry, three, thunderstorm two, potential one, will rapidly one. increase across our area. Right now, thunderstorms are most concentrated over here in Leon County, in the southern parts of Freestone County, and Madisonville, you had a pretty good thunderstorm Relax, earlier. Two, that is now shifted up to the Madison north. One, Lots of lightning and thunder in Centerville currently, and that will continue to make its way up I-45. So folks in Buffalo, that will be affecting you. Eventually, maybe up toward the Fairfield <laughs> area. So we'll keep an eye on that. Couple showers passed through Waco earlier. And we are seeing some it development here in southwestern Hill County, back in southeastern Boston, and into we'll Coriel County. To and keep an eye on Brooke. those. I still think we have a couple more hours and to go here because the cold front is still well to the west, moving through San Angelo. But as this Just continues about to make its way to the east, we will have our thunderstorm potential go up. Current temperatures out there, it is extremely tropical. It's in the 80s, but it feels like the upper 90s, especially along the east of I-35. And we do have an isolated severe weather threat tonight. Flash flooding will be the main threat. Five out of ten street and creek flooding. However, I cannot rule out maybe an isolated spin up in some of the stronger thunderstorms later on tonight. It's a very low chance. I just want to let you know about it. I'm not anticipating a major city or other event, but it's something we're going to be watching for you right okay, here. In your leave, right, just Matt, up. As he just said, parts of Central Texas soon. facing a flash flood watch tonight. Flash. We're now going live with China Spring, where meteorologist Jeff Borgeron is reporting. How are things looking out yeah. there? Jeff's full. <laughs> You know, and it's yeah. actually not Broke too bad out right now. Partly the the mostly cloudy, in a little bit breezy, and it is definitely humid. Matt just mentioned that it feels tropical outside. I've been walking off camera trying to wipe the sweat off my head, but there's no, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to control there's that because it is hear definitely warm out here. Now, no, in terms of tonight, we are expecting the rain chances to it's increase. Audio, not seeing any storms out here right now, but that is going to be changing overnight, especially along the west of I-35. We got a hot. A flash flood watch in effect. Let's take a look at that yeah, flash flood watch, which was here expanded himself. across Thank more of our counties today, and now encompasses areas along and west of I-35 where the greatest rainfall is expected. Again, I'm not seeing any significant rainfall right now in the China Spring area, but I want to focus in onto the northeast. I'm going to walk out of the camera, and I just want to show you what we're seeing going up. This is a sporadic shower nice. or thunderstorm going up in the distance. Dual box is and we're going to be seeing more of that out three. ahead of the cold front tonight. So I want you to be aware there is a lightning threat, there is a heavy rain threat tonight. And heading into the overnight, that rain broke. Right, Jeff is dropping out, and we're coming to you. That, uh, coming three. up. For now, I'm reporting live in China Spring. Jeff Forger on Central Texas News. Okay, that's my kill route, too. All right, thanks, Jeff. Jeff, you're clear. Good work. We'll touch base again with Jeff since the conditions outside the city. In your lead, bro. Like a minute. It's Friday, it's and of course, that box. means football. Our Brooke Bednars is at Copper's Cove High School for our game of the week. Brooke, who do you have out here with you now? One. Brooke is full. And I am out Bugs here with in. the Coppers Cove cheerleaders. They've been getting First the gold ready to play for the league tonight Brooke? for our game of the week. But before we talk X's and O's later at 6, we're going to have a little bit of fun with the cheerleaders in our red zone. Know the coach trivia. Coppers Cove has a new head coach, Jack Alvarez. So we asked him some questions earlier this week, and we're going to see how well the cheerleaders know him. 
So as soon as you give us your answer, we're going to play back his answer that we asked him earlier this week. So we're going to know if you're right or you're wrong. Are you guys ready? Somebody turned yeah, up ready? ready or not, here we are. Before a big game, what is Coach Jack Alvarez listening to? Is it A, Scroll. Johnny Cash, B, ACDC, or C, Kiss? Gonna go with a Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, let's see, is she right? Hey, that kills one. Stand by. Stand by my food. I mean, if it's, if it's Sorry, um, that was a big game, probably have some sort of ACDC. Ten seconds left out here. Uh, it's early in the morning. Right. Uh, I, I, like to, I like to listen to little Randy I, Travis and some uh, some of his praise and worship. Kind of gets my okay, take one. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you weren't right. The correct answer there was AC, DC, so my next shot and see in five seconds. Travis. Now on to Kimberly. Question two. Too. If Coach Alvarez yeah. wasn't a football coach, what would he do? A, basketball coach. B, pro bass fisherman. <laughs> or C, ready, would he open a barbecue restaurant? Yeah, this is going to be a while. I'm going to go with B, the pro bass fisherman. Is she right? Charlie kills Probably pro bass fisherman. I'm going to take one. Fish. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. He doesn't fish a lot, but he would love to be a pro bass fisherman. And question three, we have James joining us. This one's a big one. Are you ready? Would Coach Alvarez prefer cornbread or biscuits? <laughs> cornbread. Oh, oh, let's see. Stand by. All the way. Biscuits every day. Am I I mean, whether it is biscuits dead. do with gravy. Biscuits good with butter, <laughs> buttered biscuits, or you can go Five seconds, out cute honey, biscuits. syrup, butter. I mean, there's thousands of different ways to eat biscuits. Oh, I can go one cute. They're up again. Bugs in. There's a thousand different ways to eat biscuits, so that's his answer. But thank you all for playing. <laughs> That'll do it for us for right now right, with our three. Red Zone Know the Coach trivia. We'll be back here at that's 6 o'clock X's and O's for our game of the week. But for now, live from Bulldog Stadium, Brooke Bednar's Central Texas Red Zone. Open. Oh, You're clear, killer work. Now for work. a very special hey, announcement. Alpha. <laughs> Congratulations to JV on Sunday, our week three Red Zone primetime performer. McConnelly, running back, took home the award after gaining 203 yards on 21 carries and scoring three touchdowns last week. Remember to watch Red Zone tonight at 10.08 to find out how to nominate your favorite player for this week's award. We've been telling you about Aiden Martin, the teenager who died this week from injuries sustained in an ATV accident. Well, tonight, Taking boxes. support for the team continues. Our Hunter Davis spent the day in Florence where students Start in the district can rally around Q. their rivals. Our school. <clears throat> and the touching duties began B last B B night B when Academy Junior High and Florence Junior High faced B off on the football field. <clears throat> I'll be next. Team captains from Academy walked onto the field with their teammate jersey in hand. They we'll also have one more story after Ann's tag before the tease. strong. The touch and tributes for Aiden continue today at Florence Elementary School <laughs> with handwritten letters for the Academy ISD family. Those will be displayed at tonight's homecoming game between Academy High School and Florence High School. The fans of the Florence football team have also agreed to on three and turn to four for the last tonight. Instead, they'll be wearing green and gold to the homecoming game in honor of Aiden. Live in Colleen Hunter Davis, Central Texas News Now. Okay, says the banners and cards will be given to Aiden's family. Coming up at six more on their touching tribute. Turning into four. Miss Texas kicked off her indeed. tour of schools right here team? in Central Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Delta. Oh, my. Spring Valley Olympic team saw Madison Fuller's ventriloquism skills in action during today's visit. 15 to seconds. Field, you want to be third and fourth graders about the weather. importance of taking no care weather. of their mind, body, heart, and spirit. Pretty alpha. She also advised kids to be kind to one another. Alpha, kill my camera through me next to the tees where you move your music by your Zoom speed, please. Especially third, fourth grade, it's very important that they believe in themselves. Ten seconds left they took away nothing else from my presentation, I hope that they walk away confident in themselves and ready to go after whatever it is that they want to be. A Midway High School alum who was also a judge in the Miss Texas pageant invited Fuller to visit the school. This is part of a two-year intensive development program for student leaders. Music. Recovery crews in Tanzania working tirelessly after an overcrowded boat capsized on Lake Victoria. 
will bring you the latest. It is up to MMS first, control. The controversy we'll get over sexual assault claims against the Supreme Court pick continues. What the commander in chief is now saying about the accuser. Kill the man, accuser. Cool. Three, two, one. Mass second. 